morning, everyone. How are you today? Morning, sir. Good morning, bye. Before we start the class, I would like to know uh, how many of you in this class today. Uh, the first is Ahmad Hussein. I'm here. Okay. Next is Eva Maria. I'm here. Okay. And the last is Rosan Ibnu. Are you here, Rosan? Yes, sir. I'm here, sir. Hello. Okay. You look handsome today. Well, yes. Okay. Thank you, sir. I'm flattered. Okay. And it seems you are all here. And now let's begin the class by praying with your own religion. Uh, let's start praying. Okay, finish. Okay. Uh, now, in this, we would like to learn about giving or asking and giving opinion. So you guys will need to speak in this class today. Oh yes. So yes, uh, guys, do you like video games? What yes, is video like games for you? Uh, me sir. You, okay, you said. Uh, I uh video game is my enter what is it the way how we entertain myself you know like uh Dota do uh, PUBG and uh what is it Mobile Legend yeah. all right yeah yeah, yeah. They, they are they, they are my video game okay and next you talk uh, about your opinion today. Let's give your opinion. Next. Uh, Rosan. Yes, I'm sir. I want to. Okay, okay. Yes, please. Uh, what is video game? Yes, uh, I'm like video game, sir. And uh, what is video game? Video game for yeah. me for, uh, to fill my empty time, sir. To make a fun, uh, to make my feeling happy, sir. This is what I'm playing a shooter mm -hmm. game. Oh, like so you like shooter game, shooting yeah. games? Yes, tembak tembakan, sir. Okay, okay. Is that all? Eva Maria. Okay. Eva. Finish. Let's. Okay. Let's see, Eva. Okay, please. I love to play video game uh, Honkai Impact. Oh, and what is that? The video game is make me having fun and can increase my mood. Okay, mm. that's all. That's all. Yeah. Uh, what have you said or your opinion about video games? Uh, it's called, it seems like a still unstructured. So, in giving an opinion, you need uh, to structure, and this, in this time, I will give you some formulas how to make a good opinion. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see my PowerPoint. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Wow. Giving, asking and giving opinion. All right. To express opinion, you need to know about how to start an opinion. Jadi, Anda harus tahu bagaimana cara memulai uh, mengungkapkan sebuah pendapat. 
kalian bisa menggunakan uh, beberapa pilihan di PowerPoint ini. Oh ya yeah, ya, yeah. I understand. You can start with in my opinion, bla bla bla, or I think, bla bla bla. Uh, pilih uh, yang kalian suka. Nah, lalu kalian bisa mulai uh, express your opinion. Uh, sir, I want to answer. Yes, Rose. Kalau gada kalau gada awalan di setiap kata-kata ini, apa aku nggak apa-apa langsung langsung menyatakan pendapat tapi tanpa in my opinion, gitu mah? Oh, apakah bisa? Apakah nggak nggak nyambung atau bagaimana? Bisa saja, it can be, but it will be very clear if we talk, if we say what will we say. So in this case dalam kasus ini kita akan uh, mengungkapkan sebuah opini. So hmm. ada baiknya diawali with dengan awalan seperti ini. In my opinion, I think according to me in my experience dan yang lainnya. Oh ya yeah, ya, yeah. I'm nah. sir. Thank you, sir. Kemudian, sir. All right. Uh, Can I ask something? Yes, Susan. Uh, what it, may I may I look at it, the starting an opinion in the kind of my opinion? Example, uh, I love I love a durian. It's my opinion. So it, it can be like that or not. And yeah. and what is the meaning of I recon? <laughs> I don't understand. I recon. Can you explain? Yeah. This starting an opinion or kalimat kata-kata seperti in my opinion, I think bisa ditaruh di tengah-tengah. Uh, misal kalian ingin mengatakan statement dulu. Hmm. Misal I love bla bla bla. I think baru opini kalian juga bisa seperti itu. Oh ya ya ya. Jadi tidak terpaku pada harus in my opinion first, I think first dan bla bla bla. Tidak perlu. Oke. Okay. Next. Uh, another part of opinion adalah is agreeing an opinion and disagreeing an opinion. Jadi bagian dari opini adalah setuju dan tidak setuju. Nah, untuk mengungkapkan uh, setuju atau agree kita bisa di, bisa gunakan kalimat-kalimat berikut. Of course, this is absolutely right. I agree with this opinion dan yang lainnya. Dan untuk mengungkapkan ketidaksetujuan, is agreeing with an opinion, bisa dipakai kalimat-kalimat berikut. I don't agree with you, I disagree with you, I think you are wrong, dan yang lain. Bisa juga uh, dalam pembukaan, pem, dalam memulai sebuah opini, kalian bisa mengungkapkan kalian agree atau tidak agree misalkan pada suatu statement atau ada statement berikut bla 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 kalian memulainya dengan I agree with this statement lalu kemudian diikuti opini kalian in my opinion I think bla 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 so that's the formula to make a good opinion Hmm. Oh ya, yeah, yes, anda amnir sensor. I see, I see. Yes, opini diikuti uh, your expression about something. What do you think about it? All right, I think you get it. Now let's next to 
another step. I will give you a statement of some case an of an a an a case of something and you will need to give an opinion about it. So here's the statement. Can video games increase our English skill? That's the statement and you I give you one minute to prepare your opinion. After one minute left pass, you can give your opinion. Yes, sir. Are you, are you ready, guys? Yes. I think yes, sir. Okay, who's first? Mm, Eva. Oh, I I see that Eva raised his her hand. Yes, okay. please. In my opinion, a video game can in, increase our vocab and our knowledge about English more than when we are in the school. Yeah. Yes, I like it. Is that all? Yes. Okay. Me so, sir. Yeah. Rosa next. Uh, I strongly believe, like Eva, I strongly believe that uh, video game can increase English learning because nowadays uh, technology is very advanced. It's uh, it's not about the game right now. It's not just a game. But uh, storytelling, you know, you know, there's a uh, video game right now. It's like a a movie, so you can learning English, learning a pronunciation, find a new po new vocabulary, and I think yes, I'm a, I'm I'm agree that apa namanya, I'm agree that video game can increase our learning English. Okay, that's enough. Okay. Oh. And the last, Hussein, please. Uh, sorry for Hussein and Ave Maria, and sir, I disagree for the opinion because, you know, we can't generalize all the game can increase our English skill. Okay? Because Hussein and Ave didn't have, what is it, state what kind of game, uh, but I think uh in my what is it in my opinion in my opinion uh i think game what is it uh have a negative impact more than positive impact to increase in the skill you know because uh the boys and girls can addict addicted about uh games and they are forget about their activities, their other activities. Uh, I think that's my opinion. Uh, how about how about it, sir? Or hey, I see you have different opinion about this. Yes, uh, Eva and Rosan thinks that think that a video game can increase the English skill because inside video games there are Lot, uh, especially English video games, right? Uh, yeah. Yes. If, if especially you for English. Yes. English I'm not sorry. I'm not. I'm not mentioning the type of the game. Yeah, sorry. Because. Not so, all Ozan, games. <laughs> Ozan, Ozan, my friends. Uh, can you share with me what kind of games can increase our English skills? Yeah. Yeah. Come on, Ozan. You can explain okay. more. Yeah. Uh, like Witcher, The Witcher Three, you know, The Witcher oh. Three, The Witcher, and The Elder Scrolls the Skyrim, and then uh, Call of Duty. Call, uh, Call of Duty. Yes, all these three is my for, is my favorite or my very my favorite game because the storytelling and how uh, how the the actor is pronounced the, oh, the accent is so beautiful. So. Uh, it can increase our pronunciation. It can, it can, it can make me uh, 
more cooler in speaking English. Oh yeah. Right, you <laughs> I'm sorry, sir. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, sir. So, or is that anything like that? So, sir, sir, uh, what kind of storytelling that? What kind of storytelling is it in the first game or in the side of game? I think in the first of game. You know what I mean? No, sorry. Can you Maksudnya, explore uh, a little? Storytelling itu maksudnya di awalan game itu loh yang biasanya kalau saya sih main itu skip skip itu loh. Oh yeah, I see. Gitu. Cut Jadi scene. namanya cut scene, son. Cut scene. No. Uh, maybe. Cinematic scene. Rosan knows, but uh, I also play uh, the Elder Scroll. Wow. Oh. Wow, my brother is gamer. Yeah. Older than sir. I played it too, uh, and it's very good game because. Uh, There are many. Uh, this game is about it's open world game, but in the view of first person, and it uses English, of course, and there inside the game you can learn uh, uh, some English because inside this game you will also find some books. About the game slower. <laughs> yes, there is so many. Di dalam the world. game itu ada buku juga tentang kisah-kisah di balik latar belakang game tersebut. Hmm. Tersebut jadi menarik sekali untuk dibaca untuk mengikuti alur ceritanya dalam bahasa Inggris. Situ juga bisa uh, kita dapat vocabulary baru. Hmm. Ya. Yeah. That's kind of game I like, which can increase our English skill. Yes. I think. Yes, I'm agree with you, sir. That's maybe what you mean, Hussein. Yeah. yeah. Not all games can increase our skill, mm. our English skill, especially. How about? Jadi bagaimana dengan game yang masih bahasa Indonesia atau yang bisa Jepang? <laughs> Ya, yeah, Jepang juga. Uh, Orang kayak impact itu apa kabarnya? Oke. Okay. Bahasa Inggris. Oh, bahasa Inggris. Bahasa Inggris. Ada versi bahasa Inggris ya. Right. And I think you are all already able to express your opinion in in this. Yes, sir. In this class today, and uh, I think uh, our class today is enough. And uh, all right, students. That's all for today. Uh, thank you very much for coming to my class. Uh, see you. See you, sir. Yes, sir. Thank Goodbye. you, sir. Have a nice day. Thank you, sir. For nice. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir.